And one of our goals is to get the highest and best amount for rent to have tenants in here long term and to do this project once. So we're kind of. So, I would love your ideas in the kitchen because okay. what we're going to take on and kind of the ideas for renting it are definitely different than if I was selling it. So I'd right. love to hear what you think about the space and how you would use it differently. Okay. Um, and update it. So it's clean. Right. It's just dated. Right. And one of our goals is to get the highest and best amount for rent to have tenants in here long term and to do this project once. So we're kind of taking on a bigger scope. Right. Um, knowing that that will just take a couple of more months than turning around and getting a tenant right in the property. Right. Yeah, and kitchens are interesting, aren't they? Because, you know, you can do them pretty economically, mm -hmm. especially of this size. Mm -hmm. But like in your case, you're gonna pull down the boxes and mm -hmm. everything, right? Yep. Do new appliances. Yep. The whole thing, we're gonna go to, down to the studs. We might even insulate this wall. We'll probably look at the drains. So the drains in this kitchen, we know are copper and from past experience, um, they do not hold, they're 50 years old, first of all. Right. Um, so they've, they've served a good life. Right. But we now use for drains, uh, the plastic, uh, right. ABS drains. So because if you were to put things like Drano down it, they'll eat away the copper and then ruin your kitchen. So we're going to renter proof this because we're not the ones living in the property. So if you live in the property and you know not to put Drano down your sink, right. you know that. Here, not as much control. So we'll right. probably do a little more excavating of this right. room right, and then build it back. New kitchen, new flooring, new drywall, new everything, cabinets, right. appliances. Right. Well, and it's interesting because if a person were to sell, the biggest question that every single buyer always asks is, can this wall come out? Yeah. Is it load bearing? <laughs> is it load bearing? A load bearing wall is an active structural element of a home and it supports the weight of the items above or below it. So that would be the one recommendation that I would make to a seller is to find out if it's load bearing. Mm -hmm. And then again, if they have budget and are able to do it, maybe, you know, remove it or if they want to take it down and put in, you know, a little bit of a bar or island or something, but at least spend the money for a structural engineer to mm -hmm. tell them that yes, it can be done. And then that way it can be explained to the buyer. Yeah. They don't have to sit there and wonder. Yeah. And then also just get a cost estimate of yeah. what it would be because yeah. the buyers want open kitchens. Yeah. They don't want, you know, tight little things. Yes. So one of the things I was thinking about if we were to sell Kim, what do you think could be done in this area? Would you do an island and well, open it up to the yeah. living room, do you think? Right. So that's a great question because right now in a hot seller's market, but we also have like a backup of labor, you know, contractors are super booked. So it, it, it all depends on where a seller is at on their budget and their time to help them evaluate what they're gonna get the most of. I always feel, and I don't know if you find this too, is whatever money you spend in a kitchen, you get it out almost all of it if you do it right. Yes. 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 Like, modernize and just make it you know better whether it's open or you know put in different appliances so again those are elements that a seller really we can give them the ideas but then the seller really needs to decide you know what they want to take I agree. on i agree sometimes yeah. it can be just new countertops yeah and that will really refresh the space right so one of our ideas in this particular space is if you notice there's a set of cabinets on this side facing the other way. Um, this would have been an eating kitchen okay. at one point. Right. Next to you is one segment of countertops. There's another segment of countertops next to the fridge. So what we're thinking about doing is actually moving this fridge and putting it against this wall, doing a more modern, larger size fridge. Right. Um, it will all be stainless steel in here. Side note, because that's all you can get right now. Um, but right. it will also elevate the, um, the space, you know, design wise. 
and it will add actually about three feet of counter space to this very small kitchen. But what do you think, like if you were to take that space and just make the fridge space bigger? Because Here. it's nice that everything is weighted on this side. Mm -hmm. It's super attractive. Like you walk in and it's a very, yeah, it's a very comfortable layout. It's a functional L-shaped kitchen, right? And if you wanted more storage space, you could somehow figure out how to L it over here, you know, L-shape mm -hmm. it. Um, you could even do something with like a, you know, like a bar that you could drop down mm -hmm. and pull up for extra workspace. Okay, that's an idea. You know, if you wanted to keep this area kind of free so people don't hit their hips or yeah. bang their... Yeah. You can, and, or have to move the heater vent. But you could drop, you know, have like a drop bar, you know, to, you know... And then would you do countertop here and uppers and lowers? Because one of the things that we feel this, this kitchen lacks is counter space. Right. Well, you could. And I mean, that's where Pinterest is our friend, right? Yeah. Because you could do some open shelving, like for okay. attractive cookbooks yeah. or, you know, or maybe do that on the end okay. and then have some cabinets in. Okay. And then, you know, as you get into the corner, that's where you have those great, you know, pull out storage sure. systems sure. that you can fit a lot of pots sure. and pans or whatever back in there. We had also considered maybe doing a floor to ceiling pantry and any more storage space. Right, right. It'll be a blank canvas. It'll be an empty room that we get to redesign. So yeah. part of it is also what in reality. Um, but these cabinets are really quite narrow. And so if you're doing total new cabinet um, shelves, I mean, you possibly could get them a little bit wider because these don't even fit big dinner plates, right? Correct. Yes. So then yeah. you're going to so get... So they're going to be deeper. You're going to get deeper and then you have a little more space there. And then these are quite nice because they're very... I mean, yeah, they're deep. What you lose here is um, maybe getting a, a cabinet, a base cabinet that comes all the way back. Because what you're losing right now is all of this storage space. It's just empty. Right. Well, so they have those really... I've seen them in a couple houses, those cool European yeah. wire things. They yep. come out, they almost triple fold. Yep. They're quite cool. Yeah. So that's the fun. We get to start shopping for cabinets and then take the yeah. ideas of what's in our head and then the practicality of how much it costs yeah. and what it actually lays out. You know, So right now we've kind of laid some um, rulers out to see how deep cabinets would be and we'll figure out... Um, and I keep tripping over. What, yes. <laughs> um, we'll figure out what, what space works. But I, I do like the idea that if if this was a sell, you know, if you were selling it, you could totally open this if the budget and time allowed. Yes. Because doing a no, you know, knock down wall is, and just replay, you know, gutting it as a shell versus getting into potential new framing might be a whole nother. But yeah. I love the idea. I mean, you'd let a lot of light in from the front of the house as well. Yeah. And for people, you know, if it does happen to be load bearing, you know, you can either do a timber across and somehow incorporate that into the design or some people just, you know, car, I mean, it's kind of from the sixties. They just open that window up, right. Yep. And keep like a shelf wall. Yeah. But, but it, then you can again do base cabinets or like you said, that some yeah, other create a niche yep. and you know, yeah. Yeah. And do like okay. some type of. Um, Maybe you get to come cabinet shopping with me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. are we in agreement that whether you're renting or selling, it is worth the investment when it comes to the kitchen? Yes. I would say that if this was a listing and the seller wanted quick hits on what to sell, I would say it's clean. It's functional. Yeah. Let's put our money in I, and have a limited budget and time because you're not going to get this kitchen remodeled in a week. Right. But you could paint the house and do some other updating light fixtures. And so in the end, we'll do a summary of like what the big ticket things would be. Like, and for me, it's going to be exterior paint. She already did the roof, but that would have been one of them. The paint and the, and the roof and then whatever else. It's going to be the bathroom. The bathroom mm -hmm. and that bathroom have to be taken care of and the floor, the carpet. So we'll come back through yeah. and just do a quick yeah. summary. Yeah.